Good evening. Welcome to Year 11's virtual GCSE revision evening. My name is Miss Hollis and I'll be talking you through the English GCSE course that your son and daughter is taking next summer. I'll also be talking you through some suggested revision material, tips and recommended websites. So firstly, the GCSE overview. There are two courses that make up the English GCSE, English language and English literature, and there are two papers for each. Language paper one is the explorations in creative reading and writing, which is the non-fiction paper. And paper two is the writer's viewpoints and perspective. This is a non-fiction paper. For English literature, paper one is the texts. So the 19th century texts, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens and the modern texts and Inspector Calls by J.B. Priestley. Paper two is the mandatory paper, which comprises of Shakespeare, we all have been looking at Macbeth, and the unseen poetry component. Timings are all one hour 45 minutes, apart from paper two on the literature, which is one hour 40. Students who qualify for additional time will have extra 26 minutes for the one hour 45 papers and an additional 25 minutes for the one hour 40 paper. This slide gives you a further breakdown of the questions for English language for your own reference. However, the greatest difference here between the papers is that paper one is the fiction paper and students will only have one fictional source to read, whereas paper two has two sources to read. Um, one 19th century text and one 20th century, and students will have to compare both of those sources. The other notable requirement for these exams is section B, the writing component. Both section Bs for both papers are worth 50% of the entire paper and will assess students' accuracy and fluency in writing skills, as well as spelling, punctuation and grammar. For language paper one, students will be asked to write creatively, either a description based on an image or a narrative. In paper two, students will be asked to write in the form of a letter, a speech or an article for a particular viewpoint. So it is the opinion piece in section B for language paper two. To support your child with these examinations, you can, of course, purchase revision guides. These are readily available um, from different retailers on the high street, or you can purchase these from many different places online. The best way to do this, um, though, is to go on the CGB, CGP website and purchase these directly. We recommend the GCSE AQA English Language Guide, which takes students through all of the skills, questions, and even has graded example material and mark schemes. How else can you revise for the English Language GCSE? Well, yes, we do recommend the revision guides, and based on which edition you purchase, it ranges from £2.95, £5.95, up to £10 if you want the online revision source as well. But to prepare for language paper two, we recommend reading as many non-fiction texts as possible. This may be letters, it may be journals, diary entries, speeches or articles. And considering the text type, audience and purpose of these pieces, as well as trying to identify a forest and other language devices the writer has used. On to English literature. Again, there are two papers for this part of the course. I have called paper one text across time. This is the option paper to reflect the learning time lost due to COVID throughout the last year or so. And schools were able to drop a component of the exam, which for Tavram was the power and conflict poetry cluster. So just to make this very clear, students have not been taught the power and conflict poetry cluster, and therefore this is reflected in the exam. Students will only be answering two questions in the text that have been taught in class. This is section A, A Christmas Carol, and section B, An Inspector Calls. Both are closed texts, meaning they will not have a copy of the text in the exam. However, A Christmas Carol will be based on an extract. In Inspector Calls, students only have a choice of two questions um, and it is entirely closed book. 
Paper two, Shakespeare and poetry, is the mandatory paper consisting of Macbeth and unseen poetry. Again, Macbeth is closed book. The only material students will have in the extract, uh, sorry, is the extract for the question. And this is followed by section B, the unseen poetry components. Part one is where students must analyze a poem and they can answer analysing language and themes linked to the question and part b requires students to compare the previous unseen poem to a new poem however this is only an eight mark question and as well just drawing your attention to timings one hour 45 minutes for paper one and for paper two one hour 40 minutes so how can you revise for literature? Well, of course, students annotated class copies of the text is invaluable. But again, we recommend the CGP revision guides for additional support. Both text guides and workbooks are available again from Amazon and the CGP website. Exactly the same for um, the paper two for Shakespeare and poetry. Um, for unseen poetry, there are a lot of um, additional material out there. Um, CGP do two books. One book is not in seemingly better than the other, but it just focuses on a different range of poetry, but all the support material is the same. They both reinforce the approaches to the unseen questions, tackles annotations for poetic language, and give sample answers and material. One last thing from the English team, over the next week or so, we'll be uploading a variety of resources onto the team's student area, including past papers for literature and language, mark schemes for the different papers, and also some practice questions. I've also added a list of general revision for your convenience, um, but also in terms of getting students really prepared for exams, for a lot of students, it comes down to writing to time and memorising quotations. So one of the biggest tips I can give tonight is to make sure that students are practising writing to time at home. Of course, we will support this in class as well. Um, and also memorising the quotes. As we've seen tonight, all papers for literature are closed texts and students can't just take quotations from the extract. So the more quotes that we learn, the better and more confident students will be going into the exam room. Um, so thank you for your time tonight. I hope you found this presentation helpful. If you have any further questions, please do get in touch. Um, my name is Megan Hollis, or you can get in touch with the head of faculty, Jess Webb. Both our emails are at the bottom left of the slide. Thank you very much.